tune in, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Hit that heart button, hit that share button when you come in. We're going to go ahead and get started on tonight. We are excited about tonight. We want to thank everybody who's on with us so far. If you haven't already had the opportunity, please hit that share button right now so that someone can just see these beautiful, wonderful people that um, we have the privilege of honoring on tonight. Um, this is our virtual night of honor uh, for Black History Month. We wanted to come together and honor some of um, our local heroes in the areas of nursing, um, our educators, teachers, and mental health professionals. So that's all the beauty that you're seeing on the screen on, on tonight. Um, they are working in some area of that field and we'll make those things known um, in just a few moments. But what we would like to do um, is first just open up in a word of prayer, ask for um, God's blessing over tonight. Then we'll kind of introduce um, some people and get our program going. Again, thank everybody who's joining us on our um, Facebook channel um, to honor, help us honor on this night. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for uh, this day, this opportunity that you have given us um, to celebrate and to honor those who are doing such tremendous works. Lord God, we thank you for the giftings and the abilities and the knowledge um, that you have given them to do um, the hard tasks that they do, Lord God, um, that helps us so much in our communities, that helps families, helps children, Lord God. And so we just thank you for everyone um, that is on the panel on tonight that we're honoring. We know, God, that there are so many more even outside of this panel. And we thank you for the work that they're doing. We thank you for the abilities and the energy that you're giving them to do it, to help us through even these tough times, God. And we even pray, Lord, that on tonight as we celebrate them, that ultimately you will get the glory, Lord God, and putting this in our hearts um, to do, to honor and celebrate them and just letting everything come together, Lord. We just pray um, blessings over this night. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so um, man, first, before we get started, I want to uh, honor some people that we have on the panel on tonight that has helped us kind of put this thing together. And I want to start with Pastor Mark um, from Eastview. He doesn't have to say anything right now unless he wants to. He's going to be saying some things to you, but I want to just make sure that we acknowledge him um, from the get-go. Pastor Mark, Pastor Tommy with um, Eastview Church, um, we thank you, man. He's really helped us kind of put this whole night together, so we appreciate him. And then we have the one and only evangelist Anna Ruffin, who I just pretty much get some and throw it to her and she go get it done. 
Um, so Anna has made things happen on, on tonight. And so we appreciate her. And then we have none other than Dr. Krista Platt that is going to help us to celebrate and, and honor on tonight. And we have so many other people um, that have helped us to put this night together, whether it was donating financially or donating other gifts um, that we're going to talk about. And so we'll make those announcements on tonight. I see you guys are already hardening it up for them in the chat. So thank you um, for doing that. All right, again, this is Black History Month. We love to celebrate African-American history. And so um, we first wanna kinda, everybody might not be familiar with how Black History Month started. What is it all about? And so we wanna just take just a moment to kinda go over that. And so I'll turn it over to Anna now who kinda will bring that information to our attention. Thank you. Hey, y'all. I also would like to just honor my pastor, who is really the visionary of tonight, uh, Pastor William Bennett, um, who I feel like just loves people well, serves people well, and, and really loves the community. And so honor you, Pastor, for, for putting this together. Uh, so I will read um, just the history of Black History Month. So for years, Black History Month was not looked at as a serious area of study. It was not until Carter G. Woodson, who is known as the father of Black History Month, Month, created Negro History Week in the second week of February in the year 1926. Woodson launched Negro History Week in hopes of promoting and educating people about, about Black history and culture. He also wanted to encourage the teachings of Black history in public schools. Many often wonder why the shortest month of the year was chosen to celebrate Black history. It was because the second week of February coincides with the birthdays of both Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass. Woodson believed celebrating Black History Week around their birthdays commemorated the Black past. By the 1960s, there was a push among Black college students to want to learn and study more on Black history. In February of 1969, the first Black History Month idea was proposed by students and educators at Kent State University. Black history was created to share the experiences of African Americans throughout history and to show how the challenges and experiences have strengthened us. Happy Black History Month, y'all. For sure, for sure. <laughs> That's good stuff right there. So we, we're celebrating. And, and that's one of the things that we wanted to make sure that we made known on tonight that we are honoring those in the fields of mental health profession, um, teachers, educators, and then nurses, um, especially in this time of pandemic that we've been going through in the last couple of um, years, you guys are so very important to us getting through it. But we also want to make sure that we acknowledge that we have so many outside of the African-American race that um, work in these fields as well. And we honor you and we thank God for you. Um, and tonight we are paying special attention though to, to um, black history. And so that's why we're doing it as we are on tonight. But we, at, we honor everybody who works in, in that um, field. All right, we also want to discuss just a little bit tonight to bring everybody to everybody's attention um, that this night could only happen through partnership. On tonight, we will be given um, close to $7,500 out between um, those who we are um, blessing on tonight and celebrating and honoring. And then um, some other gifts that we'll talk about in a, mo in a moment, but none of that would be able to happen if it was not for the partnerships that we have gained in this event. Just so that we can give proper recognition and honor, I want to um, just name off um, those who have partnered financially to this event. And then um, I would want Pastor Mark to just kind of talk about um, why, why we partner you know, with each other and how just kind of the spirit of community and togetherness and unity um, as brothers and sisters that we do, um, that we have together to partner. I hear talk about that in a little bit, but I want to honor Compass Church. And if y'all could heart it up in the chat, we, we thank uh, thankful for Compass Church who um, sold and donated financially to this. Obviously, Pastor Mark, Pastor Tommy with Eastview Church. And so we want to be thankful to Eastview Church for partnering with us. Also, State Farm Agent Michael Harris. We want to honor you on tonight for being a partner um, in this event. And then U.S. Bank. We want to honor U.S. Bank for partnering with us. And also, SEFQ, 
Bank. We thank you for partnering with us. And then obviously we want to honor City of Refuge tonight for their partnership. So all of those names that I called out, we want to honor those churches, those uh, financial institutions, um, the State Fire Agent Michael Harris. Just thank you um, for being so kind and thinking enough about this event and, and what these great people do. Um, just kind of so into it so that we can be um, a, a blessing to them. Pastor Mark, I want to turn it over to you if you just talk to us a little bit about that importance of partnership. Thanks a lot. Yeah, absolutely. On partnership, it's a great word, right? And it's, when it's done well, it's a beautiful thing. And so we're just kind of reacting to the relationship that God's kind of put in front of us with yourself, Pastor Tony, and with Anna coming and, and teaching our group, you know, sharing. She's come to several different things at Eastview, kind of laid it out there with her teaching and her heart and her passion. And, and we've done some things together that I think God has really kind of blessed. And he's going to keep growing that. So we couldn't miss this opportunity to just kind of further the partnership. We're really right there with you in Black History Month, learning a little bit, admittedly, and, and always kind of trying to be a sponge and soak it all in. But what a great uh, way to express appreciation to you guys this uh, night of honor. So we love the partnership with City of Refuge. We love all of you and the partnership that we have with you in this community. So thank you so much, everybody. For sure. And um, this is probably like Eastview's uh, third or fourth time partnering with us. And so we, we we just love the partnership. We're looking forward to doing more things in Juneteenth. And last year, Juneteenth, um, we kind of partnered together and got a car for a single mom. So put, the, put together some other things. So it's just been a great partnership. And we, we want to continue it. And we just want our community to, to know that we are here, right? Um, and that we right. don't, just, you know, talk it when we walk out the love of Christ. And so um, that's what we, we're doing on tonight. All right, now we wanna let you guys know before we go into um, letting you know the names and the professions uh, of the honorees on tonight, we wanna let you know about some more partners. Um, and we also wanna let you guys know what you will be receiving on tonight. So every honoree on tonight um, will be receiving $250. All right. Now we know that we cannot pay you guys for all the work you do. And we know that you guys are all worth more than $250. However, we want to give you that $250 so that you could do whatever you want to do with it. Maybe you go take yourself out, uh, enjoy dinner and a movie, do some. Maybe it can help you maybe pay off a little bill or something like that. So everyone on tonight that we will be honoring will be receiving $250. We want to thank uh, partners um, A to Z Catering. You will be receiving a $10 gift certificate from A to Z Catering. You will also be receiving a $10 gift certificate from Kim's Confection. So we thank Kim for her partnership. You will also be receiving a 10% off to any service at Master's Touch Salon. So we thank TK for that. And then you will be, everybody will be receiving, receiving a card that has a writing and sign from different people within our community, just letting you know how much we thank you, how much we care for you, praying for you, and love you. And then our mayor, um, the mayor of Bloomington, Mayor Mboka, has also written up a proclamation for this day for you. And so that will be in your folders um, as well. So um, hopefully it could just bless your heart. And more, than, and more than the money, more than the gift certificate, more than any of that, just this appreciation. We hope this makes you happy. We hope it makes you feel seen and known and recognized and know that we do honor you because truly, um, you're here tonight because somebody put your name out there. They, when we put it out there for, hey, we want to do this for these people, this, these professions, people were just hitting us up like, hey, this person, this person, this person. So no, somebody out there sees you now. A lot of people out there see you and we recognize um, you on tonight. So Pastor Mark, Anna, Dr. Platt, if you guys are ready, then I'm ready. And what we're going to do um, now is we're going to begin just to tell you the names of the profession, uh, the people that are on tonight. We're going to tell you their profession, we're going to tell you how many years they've been in that profession. And then we're going to do the best I, we can to kind of talk in a little bit about them and, and their profession based on some things that they have let us know. And after we've gone through that list, we'll open it up if um, any of our honorees on tonight would like to say anything. Then we'll close out um, in a word of prayer. So we thank everybody again for being on tonight, all family and friends. And then I'm going to turn it over to Pastor Mark to get started. Yeah, we get it started. And do you wonder which one of you is the first person? It's going to be 
Nicole Anderson. So we're <laughs> there you go, girls. So we're going to celebrate you a little bit right now and, and your eight years in the mental health profession. And we just want to let you know that we see you and uh, we're so thankful, uh, thankful for your investments. Um, you've been clinically licensed since 2020 and, and eight years total. So another six before that pouring out your heart, pouring in your heart into people in the area with um, in our community. Um, those around us who we know and love and, and we work with and, and we have friendships with, with addictions, you know, and, and facing homelessness at times or recidivism and, and chronic mental illness. And, and so, Nicole, um, words aren't enough, but we just want to say um, thank you um, from all of us. And I'm sure everyone together just appreciates so much your presence in our community. So uh, be honored tonight and we love you. <laughs> And um, I get to move on to to um, uh, Sharon Collins Brock. So pretty exciting to to look at these um, kind of these profiles, you guys. Where Sharon's been in education 23 years, love it so much. I don't know how you've done it. Maybe later you're going to be able to share a little bit about that. So uh, thank you so much. So um, you know, you got a little bit in common with some of us, with me at least, with Illinois State University, getting your bachelor's then your master's there. So go Redbirds. That's exciting and when I read this a little bit and think of uh, high school, Chicago Public High School for 22 of those years, I think I want to sit down with you and kind of see how you manage that. And we just want to bless you, Sharon. Um, tremendous um, teaching, guiding, encouragement, um, being there, right? I, I just want to hear the stories of how many times you were just there for the high school students. And, and now lately at Colleen Hoos as assistant principal there, and that happened last August. So welcome to the community in that regard with Unit 5. And um, we are so, um, yeah, I guess we're, we're just full of admiration and glad that you're there and glad that you're here tonight to be honored by all of us. So uh, I hope you feel that. Bless you. Yeah. So this is exciting just to um, be able to to hear these names be called out and hear how long they worked in the fields that they worked in and and some things about them. And so I'm glad I have the opportunity to shout out Barb Smith, um, who worked in the mental health profession. And so um, we, we're thankful for you um, and all that you do to help keep us mentally fit. All right, and you've been in that profession for 13 years, 13 years. That's a good long time. And so we're glad that you've been able to do it as long as you've been able to do it. And however long God gives you to do it to help us, we, we, we're desiring it. And the one thing I like about um, what Barb has said is that she has a lifelong daily verse, right? This helps Barb get through it. And I, anyone who um, uses the scripture to help their own mental health and them get through, I love that. And her scripture is Psalms 27, 13 through 14. It says, I have fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. I trust the Lord to move and guide me in every season. That right there will help you mentally. <laughs> so we thank you for that, Bob. And truly, we thank you for all that you do in the mental health um, profession. We hope that tonight will be an encouragement to you um, along the way as you encourage us. We want to encourage you on tonight. Let's give it up for, for Bart. Awesome. And then, my man, I'm glad I get to honor him, um, Brother Daniel Jackson. Looking real spiffy on tonight, looking clean. And so we're thankful for um, Daniel Jackson. I'm, I'm so glad I have had the opportunity to, to know him um, personally and spend time with him. And um, even in the youthfulness of his career, he's been an educator now for four years. Um, but the fact that he's in the inner city and educating our, our children um, is an honor. He is such a blessing. Um, he is a magnificent um, man and man of God. And there is a quote that Brother Daniel lives by. He says, I became an educator to transform the lives of young minds through teaching. And he also graduated from Illinois State University, fellow alumni, and says, ISU was the best teacher prep program. And he walked into the classrooms knowing that he would serve the next generation of leaders. And that's what I like, Brother Daniel. He's just not teaching. 
he's teaching to make leaders. And so, um, Daniel, we, we are so thankful that you're on tonight. We're thankful for um, your your mindset and your vision to educate you know our children we're just continuing to pray for you and hope tonight encourage you to keep doing what you're doing so we give it up for you brother jackson all right and then i also have the honor um, to honor on tonight toya johnson toya johnson we honor you on tonight and your long years of service also in the mental health profession Toya has been doing this for 10 plus years now. She's a licensed clinical social worker and she provides counseling for junior high and high school students. So uh, we know how our junior high and high school students, I remember how I was in junior high and high school, but I thank God for those counselors and people that helped me out in tough times. And so I know that our children, our youth um, and young adults, thank God for Toya and we do so as well on tonight. She also, helps um, counsel couples and um, in therapy and families in therapy at agape counseling so kind of all over the place getting all demographics of, of youth and adults and family and couples and relationships so that's a lot on a person right when um, i just know just being a counselor and pastoring stuff you know pastoring so many different issues that's a lot and when you're doing all these different demographics it's not easy but we truly want to give you honor toya on tonight and thank you for what you're doing we pray that god continue to give you the strength to keep it up and, and as long as uh, you desire to do as you're helping others. So we give it up for Toya on tonight. All right. I feel like I want to be like, come on down. You know, if we were in person, I feel like I could bring the people down. So come on down. All right. So next I have the great opportunity, the honor to celebrate and recognize Ashley Barnes. Y'all go ahead and give it up for her. She is an educator um, and she has been educating, building, molding future scholars for success for three years. And so her teaching has started, started in 2019 at Sheridan Elementary. So she is investing and pouring into the babies, our future generation. And so she says she hopes to continue to inspire her students to see themselves in her, to continue to promote love, care, and respect in the classroom. Ashley, we thank God for you. We thank you for the way that you've invested and poured into um, the future generations, the way that you have promoted love and care in your classroom. And so y'all go ahead and heart it up for her. Ashley, we honor you on tonight. Next, I have the pleasure. I love this woman. I got the pleasure of honoring Sister Danielle Beasley. I just love her. I just love her. I'm so thankful for her. She's an ama amazing woman, a powerful woman. Um, and so I'm, I'm excited to just share and honor you, Danielle, and spotlight you. Um, she works in the mental health profession and she's been in this area of service for 16 years. 16 years she's been working and investing in um, others' mental health. And so we thank God for that. Uh, she's a licensed clinical social worker and she has a master's degree in social work, which she obtained from Illinois State University. And so she currently works uh, with college aged adults on a variety of concerns, things like trauma and grief, loss, depression, anxiety. And she believes that every client Every person that she comes in contact with is an expert of their own lives. And what she does is she partners with her clients for healing and wellness on their journey. And she does this by providing a safe, supportive, and affirming therapeutic atmosphere. Danielle, I love you. I thank God for you. I'm grateful for you because I have a lot of students that talk about you and share just the way that you've impacted their life and influenced their life. And so I honor you. I bless, I bless you um, on this journey of mental health. Y'all give it up for Danielle. All right. And then next, I have the pleasure and the honor of recognizing Vernice Prince. Y'all give it up for her. She works in the education field. Um, and so she's been doing this for the past two years. Um, she's currently a substitute teacher for District 87 and also for the last year, Farmer City. 
and she's a recent graduate school graduate with her master's degree in social work. Congratulations, Bernice. She graduated last fall with her master's degree in social work. She also, in, in, in addition to educating these past few years, she is a thrift store and homeless outreach program. She, she's been running this for a year, and she also is a mental health specialist for McLean County Triage Center and a DSP worker for Mark First Center. Vernice, you do a lot. You do, you do a lot. You do a lot of investing. You do a lot of pouring in. And I'm thankful for your presence in this community, thankful for the way that you give of yourself to serve others and to love others. And I pray that in this moment, you feel that same service. You feel that same love. You feel that same care and recognition. Thank you so much. I'll give it up for Vernice. Yeah, this, this is really fun and, and really inspiring, you guys. I mean, I'm um, hearing what's happening in each of your investments. So it's uh, my privilege right now to kind of focus the spotlight on Evan Berryman. And um, this one's incredible because Evan's been, he's a charge nurse at, at the mental health and uh, at Carl Broman. And I'm just thinking how intense that has been. Everything I hear in my daily life and, and pastoring and, and thinking about mental health all the time. What a challenge. And, and so we want to just lift you up and honor you and, and not but just a spotlight of honor on you, Evan, but also just the blessings and the favor of God, um, the strength to continue to do what you're doing when so many of us couldn't possibly do what you're doing. But you're there. You're faithful. You're making those investments, providing you know, a safe place, pr providing a place where there's healing, a place where um, people can go and, and get taken care of. Uh, for the mental health issues that they're facing there at Broman. We just want to let you know that without you, I mean, there's a big gaping hole in our community. And um, we're so thankful. We just want to say that in, in so many words, but we want to say it with our faces and with our, our, our claps and our, our emojis and everything that um, what you're doing in this community is mission critical. And we just support you with the gifts that are coming your way, but even more than that, prayers, and just the honor, um, keep going, Evan, right? Keep going and hang in there. Keep doing the, the work that you've been doing. We're so thankful. So give it up for Evan, you guys. And um, just uh, let us, let everyone know that we're all a team together. And, and it's so important that we're each playing this role that we're playing. And so I want to move uh, now to thank uh, the spotlight on India Powell. And um, another mental health professional and, and clinical uh, social worker licensed um, since uh, 2016, the summer of 2016. And uh, once again, I try to imagine what those years would be like um, any given year, any normal year, but especially uh, the last couple of years. India, um, we just wanna thank you that you're there in that space, that, uh, that you've made those sacrifices to get yourself equipped and, and uh, uh, ready for the challenges that you're present. Um, working there at uh, IWU with the, the Titans and the students and, and being at Wesleyan, um, I know there's so many people that are needing those good conversations, needing that direction at a real time, formative time in their life. And, and, and lately it's been so unstable, but you're there, India, and we just want to say yes, thank you. We see you and bless you. Um, may God give you the wisdom and the strength and, and just the joy and the reward of what you're pouring your life into. So thank you, everybody. Let's give it up for India and just let her know that we're so thankful. Wonderful, wonderful, very exciting. I, I'm really excited that we get to uh, shift back to education. We have the great fortune and honor of recognizing D.T. Thornton, who has been an educator for five years faithful service to young people, pouring, pouring into their lives, speaking into their lives, encouraging them on a daily basis. And he says that this is the best decision out of all the decisions that he's made. It has been the best decision that he's made, giving back to the youth in the form of education, being able to help them, support them, undergird them and surround them with love. And uh, he feels like this profession is a vehicle to change, to change lives um, through a simple smile on, on the faces of young men and young women. Um, and so we honor you, DT Thornton, um, that you consider your work a daily reward, 
that it's, it's not just doing the work because you can do it, but you really find pleasure and joy and a reward in doing this work. And so thank you for your service. We honor you, we see you, um, and we send you love and prayer as you continue to forge ahead in this very important and necessary work. Would you join me in celebrating DT Thornton tonight? Um, wonderful. Next, we have the opportunity of uh, celebrating Amy Carter, who is a nurse and has been a pediatric nurse for eight years, serving the young people, the children, the babies, taking care of the little ones. Um, and what I love about Amy is that she has been clear about understanding the systemic issues in medicine that sometimes keeps um, black and brown people out of the field. And so she's found that many times kids don't even know that there is even a possibility to be a nurse or a doctor because of the color of their skin, which has been a motivator for her um, to forge ahead, to be a light and to show that no matter who you are, no matter uh, your race, you absolutely can be a nurse. You absolutely can be a doctor. So we thank you, Amy, for your hard work and your dedication and your commitment uh, to bringing cult cultural competency um, into a space where there's a lot of distrust in medicine. So she gets that and we appreciate you, Amy, and, and just honor you for the ways in which you are um, helping save lives um, and being a light in the midst of uh, medicine. So please do join me in celebrating Amy Car Nurse Amy Carter. And I have the great fortune, the great honor to um, recognize a doctor, the doctor, Monica Overton, um, who has been serving as a college professor for almost five years and has also served as a part-time professor and a counselor. Um, if you know Monica, you know she is committed to loving, serving, teaching, praying, and lifting up people. Um, she would say that her career path is ever evolving. Monica, you are amazing. You have been so influential in training the next generation of human service providers, making sure that uh, people have what they need and that they're seen and they know that they're loved and they're valued. And so I want you to know um, that you are seen, you are loved and you are valued for the ways in which you give and you serve. So shout out to Dr. Monica Overton, Amy Carter and DT Thornton for their amazing and excellent work and service to our community. We love you. Yeah, so this is this is wonderful, and um, I see everybody on that's watching us is appreciating and hearing everything that we're hearing about these great and awesome people doing a great and awesome work. And so it continues with Brittany Dickey. We want to honor you on tonight and celebrate you in the field of nursing. Right? And we know that, especially in these last couple of years, we needed all the nursing help that uh, we can get. And so this has been uh, a tough time to serve in, but we're, we're thankful for those who have the mindset and the heart to do such a hard and difficult um, job and task. And so we're thankful for you, Brittany. And Brittany has been serving in the healthcare field since August of 2011 as a CNA, has been an LPN since October 31st, my birthday. Day, 2019. And at this moment, and this is why we're going to be praying and pushing Brittany, at this moment, she is in nursing school trying to achieve her RN license, and she is due to graduate this May. And so we encourage you and we say, you don't have to try, you're going to get that RN license. We believe with you and we encourage you to continue to pursue in, in this field of study that you have chosen. And we're so thankful um, for just all you've done. And I've really enjoyed reading that uh, Brittany has decided to dedicate her life to taking care of geriatric patients. And so we are thankful for that and that she has big dreams and big goals and visions. She is in the process of owning her own home health care service for the elderly. Come on, y'all, we got to give it up for that because so many times, uh, you know, in our communities, our seniors get forgotten about. So we're thankful like for people like Brittany who has not forgotten about our seniors and cares enough for the elder, elderly to have this dream and goal to start this business. So we're praying for your schooling. We're praying for this business thing to take off. And we thank you 
for all that you have done. All right, next we get to honor Jamila Gilbert has been an educator, not for 10 years, not for 20 years, but for 28 years. That's a long time. 28 years to be doing anything is a long time and especially educating. And as I begin to peruse over all of the different fields of education she has served in, Jamila, you truly are an educator with the heart of an educator. And so we are thankful um, to have you teaching our children, our young adults in, in high school and in college. We're thankful in pre-K. Let me go over some of this, y'all. She said, I love my community. And that's what it takes to be an educator. You got to love the community and the people that you serve. And says, for nearly 30 years, I've taught, mentored, and coached students in this community from pre-K through college in District 87, in Unit 5, at Heartland Community College, at Illinois Wesleyan University, and at Illinois State University. She's been all over the community serving, and we're thankful for that. Um, Jamila currently serves as Assistant Director of Curriculum Services at Illinois State University. So let's give it up. That's a lot of educating <laughs> that she's doing. And so we're, we're prayerfully um, hoping that you're still pushing and we encourage you and pray that God continues to give you the strength to do what you've been already doing. Obviously, you've done it well as you have served so many different um, parts of our community and we are thankful. All right, I get the honor of also bigging up and celebrating my sister Genesis Hall. <laughs> Let's give it up for sister Genesis. Right, uh, good, great, great friend, great woman of God. I love her. Uh, I'm just thankful for her. I know firsthand about um, the the field that she serves in and the mental health profession. She's been able. I've been able to pull on her a lot when I've needed um, some help understanding some things or just wanted her to come out to the church or something to help us talk about some mental health things. And so I'm thankful for Genesis who has served in that field for 18 years. Eight years all right and she served all over the place as well so it's feel good to be able to kind of read just some of the things that she has done she has served as a residential treatment specialist working with children with severe behavioral and emotional disorders and we're thankful genesis that that you love this field enough to be able to serve in in some things that other people will kind of run away from but you see the importance of serving our, our children no matter what the state is and so we're thankful for that she has also served as a family therapist with adoptive families, served in foster care as a clinical supervisor, provided infant mental health services with zero to three population, licensed clinical social worker and COO for Genesis Hall, licensed clinical social work worker therapeutic services, providing individual and family therapy service in, since 2017 in a private practice setting. So Genesis, you, you've done it all, you've served it all, and we are so thankful um, for you and serving in this needed area of mental health. And we're thankful that God has given you the ability and knowledge to do so and that you have carried it out in excellence and done it so well. Let's give it up y'all for Genesis Hall. Yeah, this is truly a night of honor. I mean, I, I'm getting pretty pumped up here. And I, I know as you guys are hearing these from each other, I, I'm thinking it's probably, we need to travel together, right? We, we talked about partnership earlier. And uh, this is so inspiring to be together and to hear people's stories and think, you're not doing it alone. You're getting honored to kind of live individually tonight, but you're getting honored as a group as well. And um, I, I hope you're, you're sensing that. I certainly am. I, I feel kind of energized for the next thing. Well, let, let's get to um, Danielle Jackson, one of our nurses in the panel. So uh, let's give it up for Danielle. Let's talk about her a little bit and love on her as a nurse for these last four years. And um, some words that come to mind um, for Danielle and for myself is hard work, you know, dedication um, to, to be there day in and day out and to make those choices to be the person that says, you can count on me. It took a lot of hard work and dedication to get to where she is now as that nurse. And that's something that, you know, she doesn't take for granted. That, that's the person, that's the nurse you want <laughs> coming into that room that's gonna come in there, you know, and start to look at your vitals and, and take, you know, the, take the blood test and do the different things. I've been in some of those hospital rooms, you know, praying with people when 
the person that comes in isn't really ready. It looks like they weren't ready for the day, but Danielle is ready for the day. She's ready to serve. She's done. She's made the sacrifice. She's made the choice. And there she is to, to show up. So we want to thank you, Danielle. And we want to let you know that um, for tonight, you're getting honored, but you're honored in our hearts every night. And we're going to continue to keep all of you guys in mind. So Danielle, be blessed as you continue to move forward in your work of service and love. And you're making a difference. And uh, it, it, it all adds up. And we're just so thankful. So um, be blessed tonight. And then next person is Stephanie Epkins, another one of our nurses. Stephanie, way to go. Um, and you've been doing that a while now. So 17 years with the same long-term care company. And this one, Stephanie, just really um, kind of touches my heart because of the isolation and the difficulty and the fear. And I'm just picturing you in your presence there uh, amongst um, our elderly, um, people that have been separated from family over the COVID time what a challenge but um you've done it and you've been there and you've made that difference and you've been so amazing we want to let you know that we're thankful um you, you're there present when a lot of us can't be right you're there present in those lives and those relationships when they've been uh isolated and separated and um we can only continue to support you in prayer stephanie and let you know that what you're doing is solid gold and um it's it's just so important for our whole community you deserve to be honored tonight um, I just want to let you know that, um, let the rest of the panel know that um, Stephanie says it's a joy. You know, that, that's her joy. That's, that's her sweet spot. That's how God's made her, is to be uh, serving the elderly and doing it with passion that God's given her. So thank you so much, Stephanie. We honor you tonight. Let's give it up for her and just recognize another one of our amazing panel members. All right. If y'all are not on Facebook, they are blowing y'all up in this chat. They are loving on y'all, hearting it up, shouting folks out. Somebody just said, Stephanie! They, they are blowing y'all up in the chat. So after this, I would encourage y'all to go and read the comments, go and embrace that love uh, that is being um, given to you from our community. Um, I have the honor and the pleasure of acknowledging Vergetta Harris, she is a nurse in our community, y'all. And she's been working, laboring for 20 years in this area, 20 years in nursing. And she says that she's worked from the lowest level um, and she's seen the good of health. She's seen the bad of healthcare and she knows that there are good and bad people in every profession. And forget, I believe that you're, you're one of the good ones uh, that we have in this nursing profession. And she says that she loves nursing because it allows for her to help people when they need it the most. We are just so thankful for you. So grateful for your decades of labor and love. And we pray, God, pray that God will continue to give you prosperity and strength as you continue to love love people and serve people when they need it the most. Y'all go ahead and give it up for her right now. Next, I have the honor of recognizing another nurse. Her name is Courtney Davis. Oh, please show her some love. Heart it up for her tonight. Um, she is not with us, but I, I want to be mindful of her and ask that y'all would just send her some prayers. Uh, recently, she lost her brother. Um, and so we just want, Courtney, if you watch this, rewatch the replay, we want you to know we love you, that we are thinking of you, that we are praying for you, that we are holding you up. Even now, she, I believe she's nine months pregnant. And so y'all pray just for a safe delivery. Pray that the Lord would continue to just comfort and strengthen her on this journey. I'm going to share some more about her. She's been a nurse for the last two and a half years. And she's an elementary school nurse, uh, which I feel like is really special, really sweet. Um, she's only being the only healthcare professional in a building of 400 people during a pandemic, she says, has been extremely busy, stressful, and overwhelming. She's been responsible in her elementary school for COVID testing, for contact tracing, for quarantining students, for keeping up with the guidelines that, that are continuing to change, and to just keep everyone safe in the school. Courtney, you are doing a lot. 
And so she says, though her job is more stressful than ever during this pandemic, she says she still loves the kids and being able to make a difference in their lives. Courtney, we are thankful for the way that you are sacrificing just your life to serve the kids, to serve the teachers, to serve the others that serve within your elementary school. And so we thank God for you and we are praying for you and praying that God would be with you um, as you continue on this journey. Y'all give it up for Courtney Davis. And then next, I have the opportunity and the pleasure of honoring Rebert Harris Sr. I think it's really cool when we have Black men that are educators. So y'all give it up for Rebert Harris Sr. Y'all give it up for him. He's been in this area of education for 17 years. He graduated with an Associates of Science degree from Malcolm X College in Chicago, and then he obtained his BA in middle school education. He's been teaching at the same school ever since, and he says that he loves it. Rebert, I just honor you. I thank God for you. I think about the black boy, black and brown boys that are coming up that are seeing you invest in them, seeing you love on them, seeing you support them and undergird them. I'm sure what you're doing in the field of educational education is just monumental, that it is just life changing for these black boys, brown boys, and also these black and brown girls too. And so I thank God for you. I pray that God will continue to strengthen you and encourage you. And so y'all give it up for Rebert Harris Sr. Wonderful, wonderful. Now I'd like to honor Aaron Merquirter, who is a mental health professional and has been for 15 years, y'all, 15 years of service, uh, touching the lives, the hearts and the minds of God's children. And I love this about you, Aaron, that uh, you understand that you've gotten here because of the village and the community that's all around you. Um, thanking God, um, your significant other, Mark, and your mom, Shirley, and all your friends and family, you have acknowledged all these people as your village, helping you to serve the village you're serving as. Um, and so we, we thank you. Uh, you said when you became a social worker, you did it because God called you to help people. And we're so thankful that you answered the call of God and you answer it every single day um, and, and that you do it with joy. And I just want you to know that you're making a difference, that we need you, that mental health is important and that uh, young people, older people, how, how, whoever is a part of your community that you're making a difference. I wanna shout her out for um, 2019, founding her own private practice, the Healing Tree Psychotherapy and Consulting Services, LLC. Listen, um, Aaron, you're important, you matter, you are a gift and we need you, we see you, and we love you. Can you please, everybody, help me honor Aaron McQuirter, our mental health professional. I'd like to continue in that same vein with another mental health professional, uh, Miss Dorothy Davis. Celebrate Miss Dorothy Davis, please. Um, and for 20 years, Miss Dorothy has been faithful to serve the hearts and the minds of people. And I want you to send some encouraging love because in December, 2022, uh, Miss Dorothy is going to be finishing her master's degree in counseling. That she has taken the step to not only put her skills and her heart and her, her um, desire to serve, but she's gone to get her education and to take the next step forward. And, and Dorothy has a scripture that she's using um, and the scripture is, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. And we believe that for you. We agree with you, um, Dorothy, that you will continue to pursue all of the doors that God has for you, all the things that God is putting your heart to do to serve his people, to serve them in the ways that will be a soft place for them to land, a safe place for them to land, to grow and to learn who they are in him. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you are doing now. And thank you for what you're going to do. Please help me celebrate Miss Dorothy Davis. 
And finally, for my segment, I want to also honor another mental health professional, uh, Rebecca Lynn. Rebecca Lynn, let's celebrate Rebecca, who for eight years has been serving as a mental health professional. And she quotes the great philosopher, Drake, started from the bottom and now I'm here, is what she says. Come on, come on, Rebecca. Um, she said she started her career at Home Sweet Homes with the, with the curiosity, and that's really what it takes, is just a curi curiosity and a desire to learn about, for her, mental health and addiction, that that was something that stood out to her. Um, and so she became well-trained, not only a desire and a curiosity, but she desired to put um, some action behind that through learning and training through uh, Chestnut Health, health Systems. And in 2018, Rebecca, you better come on. She said, I took a leap of faith. I took a, a leap of faith to start my own private practice, Blue Skies Counseling LLC. Rebecca, thank you for taking that leap of faith. Thank you for uh, moving beyond fear, moving beyond all the things, all the barriers and boulders and the things that you had to move past to make that private practice be. And we are the beneficiaries of that. And the people who are, who are learning how to love themselves, learning how to be free from addiction, learning how to move and to grow um, as God's children. So thank you, Rebecca. We love you, we support you, we honor you, and we're excited about the next leap of faith that you're gonna take. All right, we love you. Let's celebrate Rebecca. Let's celebrate Rebecca, Dorothy, and Aaron. We love you all. Sure do love you all, absolutely. And I'm feeling these words just wash over you guys and, and just I'm, I'm just imagining blessing of God just an increasing tenfold hundredfold um, strengthening you for the tasks ahead because you guys are the movers and the shakers and the influencers and, and this is this is a cool evening and let, let's talk about an educator let's go to Cameo Williams uh, Cameo 16 years at, in the schools in the first and third grade level. So those are sweet years of kids, a very uh, um, formative years. I'm picturing those and the influence you have on those young lives. They're um, all 16 at Grove Elementary and Normal, so that's awesome. And also some other of your activities. I don't know how you get time for a lot of this, but principal designee for over 10 years and then a systems leader for diversity, equity, and inclusion for Unit 5. Way to go. Um, that's awesome. Uh, so thankful for everyone who's making efforts there to continue to keep that top of mind for all of us, diversity, and inclusion, and, and equity, and, and um, also completing your second master's degree. So, uh, okay, excellent, fantastic over at Illinois State University, and, and may you have the strength to do all of these different things that you're doing. Um, when you're going to end there with the, the principal preparation program, is what I'm reading, and that you're looking to be an elementary principal. And you, we all know you're going to do it, and you're going to make it, and you're going to finish that segment of your education. But we just want to let you know um, that we are so thankful um, that the parents of the kids you teach, the kids themselves, as they move through in those 16 years, you've seen them grow up and do other things. And you've been so instrumental in helping give them kind of a launching pad, right? Giving them that strong start uh, that they need. So we just want to let you know that we're appreciative and the whole community is so thankful. 16 years of investment in numerous um, hundreds of kids coming through those grades. Thank you so much. Let's, yep, let her know it. Put the emojis out there and clap it up. And let's talk about Lenita Evans as well in the mental health uh, profession side of things. Once again, um, 20 years off and on it says, but mostly on I'm sure for, 20 years, Lenita, um, how you have the strength to continue and to kind of pour out has to be from God himself. And, and so we're just um, shining the spotlight on you right now to let you know that that's amazing and you're amazing. And um, we're just so thrilled that you're a part of the community. Uh, I also wanted to kind of call it out that you're a first generation college grad. Oh yeah. I mean, that's a pioneer um, breaking new ground. That isn't easy. I, I know that comes with all kinds of different challenges and you did that and you're you're up for the task and you've always been enthusiastic about achieving your dreams and making goals a reality. So uh, some other things similar, you're involved in all kinds of different things besides just the mental health side of things. So 
let me look at a couple of these um, community engagement work and a leader for a minority teacher recruitment program. Awesome. That's that's huge. Thank you so much for that. Parenting with a purpose, establishing that teen parent support group program. Um, that's incredibly valuable. And then your partnerships with the United Way Task Force and West Bloomington Revitalization Program and all kinds of different partnerships. I, I've mentioned partnerships a couple times tonight. I just want to call that out, Lenita. Thank you so much. We multiply ourselves and we have a greater impact when we're partnering and you're leading the way in all of that. So everybody let Lenita know how much we love her and how much we see and appreciate her. Great stuff, great stuff. And listen, we thank everybody for hanging in there with us. Uh, we are almost done, but we have a few more to go. And we just thank you because this night is so important um, for us to be able to honor um, these wonderful people on tonight. And this has been a blessing. It, it, it's so fun to be able to honor people, right? Like we really get get enjoyment out of it. And you guys definitely deserve to, to be honored. So I want to now celebrate and honor Dr. Nakisa Pena, Pena, all right? And I know you've been in the mental health profession a long time because you've been in it since 2003. And I got married in 2003. And so I've been married to First Lady a long, long, long time. And it's been work in my marriage. I'm just, I know First Lady on here looking at me crazy. But I know, uh, uh, Dr. Pina, that things uh, could be tough in the mental health profession and the fact that you've done it um, at the level that you've done it as I'm getting ready to read for 18 years is a wonderful, wonderful um, opportunity um, for us to be able to honor you and say thank you to you for your service in, in this area of profession. Dr. Pina has been a licensed marriage and family therapist also, they special, she specializes in training, working with individuals, couples, and families. She uses evidence-based approaches to help clients reach their goals. She is a mental health professional and professor at Lincoln College and Illinois State University. So busy, busy, busy helping um, in the areas of mental health, helping in the um, areas of counseling and um, providing therapy to families and marriages. And so um, I know how tough it is sometimes to, to be able to kind of put all of this out um, and counseling when you're counseling families and couples and different things, it's tiring. And so hopefully everybody understands that um, when we're giving honor to these great people on tonight, um, that hopefully this can be strength for you guys. And so as Anna said earlier, go back and look in the chat, look at the hearts because I know how tough it is um, to kind of do these things. And so this area of mental health that you're working in, we wanna say thank you. Thank you for taking the time to help people reach their goals. Thank you for helping the time to help couples and families reach their goals. Thank you for working on our mental health. Mental health is important people. And so we thank you, let's give it up for Dakisa and thank you for all that that you do. And now one of um, my very closest people in my life that helps me with my mental health, none other than Thelma Ellis. And Thelma couldn't be on with us on tonight. She informed us she had a last minute situation with her family come up. So we pray that everything is going well and okay with you, Thelma. But Thelma, um, many of you know her, she is just simply a great woman. She's a great woman of God. She's a great woman, great wife, great mother. And she is um, our administrative assistant at City of Refuge. And she is my personal <laughs> therapist. So when I have things that I'm dealing with and going through, she helps me out tremendously. And she has been working in the area of mental health for 20 years, for 20 years. And she says that counsel the counseling profession is a helping and healing profession that allows individuals, couples, and families to begin a journey of newfound knowledge, understanding, and beginning. Thelma Ellis has her own therapeutic services, where she is the CEO of Ellis Therapeutic Services. And so we honor you, um, Thelma. I like what she says. She says that she is um, so excited that God has granted her one of the greatest gifts of all that anyone can have. And she said that gift is the gift to help. So she is a helper and she helps with in the area of mental health, working with teens, college age students, doctors, nurses, lawyers, and all over. And I am a witness 
to all that she pours out, to all that she does um, in her community, for her family, um, for her profession. And so Thelma, we thank you for everything that you are and everything that you continue to be. Let's give it up for Thelma Ellis. All right, and let's give it up for Asia Patterson. Asia, so one of our educators, you guys. And um, so four years, I'm understanding that three of those are in the Bloomington community, all at Irving Elementary School. And um, I, I'm just, I, I'm wanting to see um, more, more partnership and connection with that school in particular, with myself and Eastview Christian Church. And, and we just, we wanna to continue to pour in. So I'm so glad you're there and I wanna kinda of get to know you, Asia. Thank you for your service. Um, thank you for all the investments that that means in your life, all those choices that it takes for you to be there. Um, my, my wife, by the way, is an educator, and I know that those, those are evenings that, that go away quickly and those investments and keeping, um, you know, tied in with your students and knowing their needs and, and being there for them. So, Asia, we want to say that um, we respect that and we thank you so much. And um, that's hard work but that's a hard work that pays so many incredible rewards. And I hope you're enjoying those rewards as you continue in your service. A um, couple of things that are mentioned for you, Asia, you're an Eastern Illinois grad and also one of our masters of science and education. So get your undergrad and your master's. So good for you, all the hard work that went into that. And I'm sure that's gonna be just pouring out further when you've got that much in your tank to give, then you're gonna be able to overflow into the lives of the children. And then similarly, you've been doing some things extracurricular too. So on the school uh, with the family engagement committee, um, that sounds really, really valuable and something that is a big need. Um, keeping those families connected, keeping them all on track for the education for the kids, that's awesome. And then finally also uh, in District 87 with the uh, diversity, equity and inclusion team. So keep those things up, you guys. I know it's extra. I know at times it, it saps some of your, your time, but what a difference we make together when we're focusing on those type of things. Well, Asia, um, bless you. Um, may God give you the strength. May God give you the joy and the reward of your hard work. Um, and hopefully tonight's a little bit of a part of that to let you know that he sees you. Our words are meant to kind of remind you all of the fact that God sees you and he's the one providing the strength for you to do your daily tasks. Be successful, be blessed, and be joyful in your work, Asia. Let's give it up for Asia. And then let's look at Tam Tamara Childress. So Tamara, this one is a little bit kind of mind boggling to me in the area of mental health, um, 22 years. So you guys just be in awe and and, and clap and give it up and, and give your, your emojis for Tamara. Um, thank you so much. And then what, what amazes me here on the bio that I read here is that She's still loving what she's doing. She's still invested. She's still, this is, this is deep within Tamara, you guys. This isn't a job. This is how she wants to spend herself. This is how she wants to give herself in this community, in the mental health area. And not only does she love it, but she considers it an honor to be in service in the kingdom. And I don't really want to add too many words to that. Those are her own words. Um, be honored, Tamara. It's an honor for us to, to know you and have you in this community and may you get the honor and the reward as you continue to pour in. I, I just pray that God will give you insights and wisdom and that compassion and that ability to um, have the, the word, the apt word of the moment and to your presence uh, there uh, in every individual life that you come in contact with that you're gonna be like a balm and, and like a healing influence in their lives. Let's give it up for Tamara, you guys, and thank her so much for being one of us tonight. Awesome, awesome stuff. Now I have the privilege of honoring Tasha Jones. Y'all know her, y'all know her, y'all know her. Let's give it up for her, for Tasha Jones. I am 40 years old and she has been an educator for longer, half, half, longer than half of the years that I've been alive. She's been doing this teaching thing a very, very long time. And as I just began to read over her bio and all the different areas in which in age groups and grades that she has taught, Tasha, it's amazing that you have the strength um, to do what you do. 
right? And that um, all these kids, I remember you teach you at Cornerstone, ain't drove you crazy yet. So we thank for, and she can sing, sing, y'all. She can sing. Some people can sing, and then some people can sing, sing, and she can sing, sing, all right? But she began teaching pre-K program at Deborah T. Thomas Learning Center in October 1997. So you can see she's been doing this thing um, by the grace of God and faithfully doing it for many, many years. Transition to Cornerstone Christian Academy, August of 2006, where she taught fourth grade, taught music to pre-K through 12th grade, from pre-K to 12th grade, created choral and string programs. She's a creator, y'all. She's a creator. Um, principal writer for AP courses for music students, began teaching for Lincoln College the fall of 2015 while working at Cornerstone Christian Academy and then transitioned full time to Lincoln in the fall of 2018. Tasha, we are thankful for you, um, for the areas you have been educating in. We're thankful. We know that God has graced you and given you such a great ability to communicate and to teach um, um, in, in the area of education. And so we know that it's not an easy job. And we know that some days and times you may be tired and frustrated, but we pray that God continues to give you the grace and the strength to continue to do um, what you're doing. We hope that you feel honored tonight and that tonight can be some sense of strength to you as you keep on pushing to educate. Let's give it up for Tasha Jones. All right, we appreciate y'all hanging with us. Um, last, but certainly not least, I have the pleasure and the honor of recognizing Verlicia Taylor. Y'all go ahead and heart it up for her. She is an educator. And so she's been working at the baby fold as a behavioral specialist for 20 five years, 25 years she's been in the game working as a behavioral specialist. And she says that she has the pleasure of having students often return to the agency and tell her that they've succeeded in life uh, because of her, her poor and her investment, her dedication. She says, I've learned more from my students than they even know. It's amazing how resilient God makes a human being. She says her motto is, I have gone through worse and came out better. Man, Verlisha, we thank God for you. We thank God for the ways in which you have served and invested for a quarter of a century. Like we, man, that is some incredible, amazing investment. And we are thankful for you. We pray that God will continue to strengthen you, continue to encourage you and give you wisdom and discernment as you engage with his creations. Y'all go ahead and give it up for Verlicia. But that was the last person. So y'all go ahead and give it up for every single person that we have been able to honor and recognize on tonight. Let's give it up, man. They are hardening it up for you guys in the chat. Uh, man, this has been such an excellent night. Um, again, just in case um, someone didn't hear it or we needed to hear it again, um, uh, going along with these words of honor that we've given on tonight, um, we do we will be giving each and every honoree that we named on tonight $250, and you will be getting a $10 gift certificate from A to Z Catering. $10 gift certificate from Kim Confection, 10% off from Masters Touch Salon, a service there. And then you will all be receiving a mayoral proclamation and community cards um, with a lot of love and more encouragement and words, okay? So be um, looking out in your emails because we're sending you out um, the ways that if, how you wanna um, retrieve those things. So just be um, looking into your emails and we'll make sure we get all of these things to each and every one of you. now. Um, as we prepare to close, um, we do want to give an opportunity for if any of our um, honorees on tonight will want to say something, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Nobody has to say anything. Nobody Tonight is about you. Nobody has to feel forced to say anything if you don't want to. But we did want to offer the opportunity if somebody just said, no, I, I, I definitely want to say something. You can definitely unmute. We don't necessarily have an order to do it in. So you can kind of just unmute if you want to do that. But again, nobody has to uh, make that decision to speak on tonight if they don't choose to. So if you do, go ahead and unmute. and. Um, do that. I just want to say thank you all so much for this evening. This was not only encouraging for myself and I appreciate being honored, but just all the amazing people and work being done. Like this was so 
encouraging. <laughs> so thank you so much for putting this together. I also want to say thank you for everything that you all have said and done today. Just like was said, it's very encouraging. I want to thank everyone for welcoming, welcoming me into the community. And I look forward to meeting everyone soon one day. I would like to jump on and just say thank you so much for the recognition, recognition and the kind words. As an educator, so often uh, we sometimes we just don't get told that we're special. We don't get told that we're needed or essential. But thank you so much for this. I told all of my employees at my job, and they're waiting to watch the replay. So this is wonderful. I want to ditto and just honor each one of you, all the beautiful faces here. Uh, Pastor Bennett, you know that you just are amazing, an amazing leader. And I just speak a wonderful, a thousand fold blessing according to Deuteronomy 1 and 11 upon each one of you leaders here on today. We appreciate everything that you've done. And since I only got 30 seconds, I want to say I love you and thank you so much. I also want to say thank you, Pastor Thomas and Anna, for initiating this awesome um, honor on, or honoring um, our teachers, educators, uh, the practitioners in our healthcare uh, world. We are appreciative and we definitely feel appreciated. And we know that City of Refuge is always serving humanity. And we thank you for the partnering churches, Reverend Mark and other churches for partnering um, for this awesome program. Hi, I just want to say that I am so humble to be here and I thank everyone that took the time to put this together. Um, I do want to share that I grew up in the foster care system in Chicago and that it's people like you that made a big difference in my life. And now I get to be an inspiration, you know, and a leader to my children as well as others. And I just want to inspire you guys to keep doing what you're doing because you never know um, which children are listening and which children are, you know, getting the most from what you guys are doing for them. Thank you guys so much. All right, we good? So I just wanna say, um, like, I don't really even have any words because I didn't know this whole network existed of all of the amazing people that have done all the things for children. So like this is a unique podcast or whatever this thing is, but it's unique because it touches on children and I wanna network with everyone on this entire avenue um, because there's so many failed avenues in the healthcare field and everyone has said such amazing things from being expert of your own lives, all of the nurses, all of the educators. As a nurse, I could never be an educator. I'm humbled by the experience. And Anna, um, I don't know if you even, I don't know who gave my name, honestly, but I, I have known about Pastor Bennett and you all for the last, I don't know, since 2006. I graduated with Tony and um, I just, I never put this out there, but he was a huge motivator of the things that I do as a pediatric nurse. And I was also not telling you, I work in pediatric ICU. So I float to pediatric hematology and sickle cell clinic in St. Jude. So I don't know who put the name out there. I don't know if you knew about me, but whatever. It's just one of those things that God brings it all back to solidify everything. So it's pretty crazy. I do. I would love to network with everyone here. I'm on Facebook. I'm not huge in this. I don't ever speak. I don't ever do these things, but I felt obligated to do it because of Tony, who's my good friend. I don't know. It's just, it's just weird how old of it works. So. And I just want to say thank you. And thank you, Amy, for being brave to speak up. And you know, um, stepping out on faith and stepping out of your comfort zone um, tonight, and what we do every day, you know, you stepping out of your comfort zone to be able to provide the health, the care for those that are in need, and 
It's just an honor to be on a panel with such amazing individuals. Like I said, it's, it just brings my heart full, full of joy and having the opportunity to serve in the Bloomington community for several years. I know several of you from when I was in the school system, um, now serving, um, doing some volunteer work in the, in the community. It's just an honor to be, I was a school social worker for several years, then a director of special education, um, administration side of things for some years, and then now I'm back. I, I just can't stay away from it. Um, as you guys have said, you know, it's a love, it's a care, it's a passion. And when your heart is in it, there's nothing that anyone can take away from it. So be it part-time, be it full-time, whatever God has for me, it's coming. And I'm just a joy to be in honor in the presence of all of you for all that you do. I just wanted to say really quickly, um, just I just wanted to shout out Pastor Bennett because, and also Pastor Mark, but I'm gonna shout out Pastor Bennett because that's my pastor. But for some of you don't know, Pastor Bennett um, doesn't just talk the talk, he walks it. He has sermons. He's had whole sermons on mental health. So of course, as a mental health professional, I'm like, he's talking about this over the pulpit, <laughs> um, has panels, has, you know, has had discussions on mental health. And so we just want to heart you up. <laughs> we just want to say thank you for allowing us to have that platform um, at the church. Um, we have a whole We Care ministry where we talk about grief and trauma. He's partnered with some uh, community counselors. Some of you all may get some calls. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, because he has a heart for seeing people whole. So we just wanted to say thank you. And we wanted to celebrate you. We wanted to thank you for that. Thank you guys. Um, thank everybody who, who spoke. Um, thank everybody who didn't. It's, it's totally fine because um, tonight is about you guys. Um, and so um, we thank everybody who's kind of ha hang in there with us and um, family and friends that are enjoying this night on tonight. This truly is something special um, tonight. And um, we give the glory to God because obviously um, God has put this in our hearts to do. And I think he did it um, for, for the reason to give you guys who I think Verlicia said it oftentimes don't get the recognition you need. I mean, literally you guys are helping people get through the toughest times of their lives. And so, and some of the most important times of their lives in the field of education. And so um, we are so thankful for you guys. And if you don't mind, um, we'll get everybody out here so they can enjoy the rest of their night and get prepared for tomorrow. But the one thing we would like to do is just be able to pray over, over you guys. There's, pray for you and pray for strength for you and for peace for you and those things. So I'm going to ask if um, Pastor Mark, um, Evangelist Anna, and Dr. Platt would just take a few minutes um, and just as the Spirit leads you um, to just begin to pray God's goodness and grace over such a great um, panel of honorees on tonight. And Pastor Mark, if, if you would lead us starting off with that, and um, then we'll let everybody go. Absolutely. Yeah, Lord, so many great um, words have been said. I think it's, it's been from you, Holy Spirit. It's, it's been just the inspiration that you've given each of us tonight as we've been thinking about each other. So I just want to remind all of the hearts through your work, Holy Spirit, of what's been said tonight and the honor and the recognition. And Lord God, I would just pray that you would give deep joy and a sense of purpose and fulfillment for each one of these um, honorees and, and the hard work that goes into what they do. May you just make it a little bit lighter because of the joy that's set before them, Lord God. I personally just honor each of them and ask, Lord God, for your favor hundredfold upon their lives so that they're going to be overflowing um, cups of blessing in the locations where they serve, Lord God, that they're going to be spilling over from that richness of their relationship with you and the skills and the gifting that you've given them, Lord God. Pray this in the name of the Lord Jesus for your honor and glory, Lord. Amen. Lord, I think about Jeremiah 1 and 10, uh, where it says, I've appointed you today over nations and kingdoms 
to uproot and tear down, to destroy and demolish, to build and to plant. Lord, thank you for these mental health professionals, these educators, these nurses, Lord, where you have called them to build and to plant. God, thank you for, for the years that they've been building, that they've been planting, that they've been investing, that they've been pouring out. God, I pray, Lord, that you would give them strength to continue to build and plant. Father, I pray that you would give them courage to continue to take leaps of faith for your glory. Father, I pray that you would give them the resources to sustain their businesses. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that as they are building and they are planting, God, I, I come against the evil one. Lord God, I come against the evil one that wants to bring discouragement and disappointment. The evil one, Lord God, that wants to make them think that the, the work that they are doing is not significant. Father, but I thank you that the work that they are doing is significant. And Lord, I pray that you would empower them in the name of Jesus. I pray that you would uplift them. Lord God, I pray that you would carry them through this next season in the name of Jesus and give them wisdom, give them discernment, give them understanding, give them knowledge. Lord God, give them courage to even go against and tear down unjust systems in health Healthcare, unjust systems in education systems in the mighty name of Jesus. But I thank you for boldness for them in this season. I thank you, Lord, that they would feel your love, that they'd feel your care, your support, your covering, your backing. And we thank you in Jesus' name. And Father, we just thank you for their lives. We thank you for who you've created them to be. Lord God, in your image, with all the gifts and the treasures that you put on the inside of them. Thank you that you have made them for their own, for your use in your kingdom, for your glory and for your children. Father, my prayer is as they sacrifice their years, their time, their tears, Lord, their resources, Father, would you pour back into them a hundredfold, Father. I pray that there be no lack in their lives. I pray that they would know without a shadow of a doubt that you are with them, that you are for them, that you love them, that you are backing them as they go out and heal, as they go out and serve as they go out and pour in, as they go out and invest and influence for your glory. Father, thank you for covering them from the front to the back. Thank you, Father, for blessing them, even in their family. God, Lord, thank you, God, for their own strength in their minds and their mental health. Father, may they not lack anything, but God, help them to know that you are for them, you are with them, you are covering them, you are backing them, and that they are yours. We thank you for what you're doing for this night. May it be etched in their hearts, God, that we see them and that they are needed and valued and loved. I pray all these things in Jesus, your precious name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you everybody for joining us on tonight. Hopefully everybody feels encouraged. Go have a great rest of your um, evening.